on, today we're gonna be testing the Chris Christensen hairbrush. These have to be the most expensive hairbrush that I have ever seen, especially for a dog. At $75.99 in Amazon, I haven't purchased for myself a brush that is more than $40. So spending more than $75 for one for Venus and Apollo is out there. Um, I want to test it out. So far, I could tell you the material, it seems really nice. It's like wooden, but it has like a top coat that it make it feel very, very nice in your hands. I, it's not regular paint. I don't know what it is, but it make it very smooth. The pins, they're very flexible. The feet of the brush, they are very flexible. So you could see like, I don't think it's going to be too scratchy on their skin. And this was the longest teeth we could find. That was the reason that we got this brush. It was the size of the teeth. We were looking something very long and we hadn't had any success finding something. Actually, I would like it if it was even a little larger than this, but we haven't found that. If you have something better than this, please let me know. Well, now it's time to go and test it on Minas and Apollo and see if this $75 hairbrush is worth it. It's out there the price, so I hope, I have really high hopes for it. Have in mind, this is a $75 dog brush, so I'm gonna criticize it really hard. Let's talk about how cheap this plastic where it came from. It actually cut my finger when I tried to open it. I think it's the first time that I get caught with a packaging. The main reason we got this brush is the size of the teeth. Look how long they are. And we were willing to pay the cost because it's made in Germany. Normally things that are made in Germany, they are really high quality and they last forever. So I'm hoping that this brush is going to be great and it's going to last. So you can see all the fussy underneath Venus's top layer. The undercoat is very, very fussy. And we wanted something with really long teeth that it will go to the first coat to be easier for shedding. Now they springtime and springtime they shed a lot. I have two Malamutes. I spend a lot of time brushing them, grooming them, keeping their coat beautiful. If a product like this brush promise me is gonna cut my time in half and is gonna do the job better than the current product I'm using, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see if in reality it saved me time and if I liked it. And then I'm going to let you know if he's worthy or not. $75 is a lot of money, especially for a hairbrush. I'm not sure I could recommend it even if it's that great. Let's talk about the claims. It says that it's 30% more pins and does more work with less effort, which that's what I'm here for. I want to be faster. Groom, grip design, ergonomic and non-slip and comfort. So far, I could say that the handle is pretty comfortable. At the beginning, when I looked at it, I thought it was kind of weird. It looked kind of funny, but it actually feels really good in your hand. Third, it says that it's best as removing mats and fluffing. And last, it's handcrafted in Germany. So far, I have noticed that it has so many teeth the the hair gets really cut into it and taking them by hand is really really tough so i really have to pull to take out all the fuzz from the brush From your perspective, it's probably really hard to see how long Venus's hair really is, but her hair is really, really long. From my hand, you could see I have to use around seven fingers to get completely the length of her hair. It doesn't look like it's that long when you're looking at her. So that's the reason I wanted a brush with really long teeth. This one is doing a really good job, but I wish that these were even longer. I don't feel it's getting all the way through the base of the undercoat. This is our old brush that we normally use to take out the undercoat, but we normally use it when the undercoat is already very loose. If it's still like in this point that is loose but not completely out, 
it have a little more trouble getting in as the teeth are not that long. That's why we got this brush to have long teeth and go through the layers. The top layer of Venus's coat is like very wispy. It's not fuzzy at all. It feels like completely different type of hair. You could see here the difference between the fuzzies in the side and the top coat. Now it's Apollo's turn. Apollo's hair is a little different than Venus. He's actually way less woolly than she is. His hair is a lot, lot shorter. Venus's hair, I will put it at 4 inches more or less, while his is around 2 inches. They are brother and sister. They have the same mom, the same dad, different leader. But their hair is a little different. Venus for sure have more wooliness than he does. Which for cuddles, Venus' hair is way better for at the time of brushing and grooming, Apollo is way easier to clean and groom. It looks like it's doing a better job on Apollo's fur than on Venus, that is longer and woolier. I thought he open the door. She's trying. <laughs> Apollo's coat is very similar to like a husky, German shepherd, those type of dogs. And if you have a dog like them, I will recommend this brush in him. He's doing a really, really good job. On Venus, however, I will prefer if I could find one with longer teeth. He sometimes doesn't like when the brush is getting too close to his balls and then normally he does a little bark or a little movement to let you know you're getting close. I bring back Venus for Jay to use the brush with her just to make sure it wasn't user error, that it wasn't me, that is her hair is so long. So I want him to test it out with her and give me his opinion. Try her back, then that's where it was. I think this from. is easier to take it out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was right out. It's way easier than doing it by hand. All right, um, let me get behind. The brush this time around is going a little smoother, though have it mine, I already had brushed her completely. So if there was like any tangle or anything underneath, I have already removed it. But this time around, the brush is working a little better. Minnie, do you like it, mommy? Do you feel so fancy, huh? Here you see how much hair it removed from the undercoat. It's doing a good job. I'm not saying it's a bad brush, but I'm not sure if it's $75 good, especially for Venus. I wish it was longer. I do like the ergonomics of the brush. It's really easy to move and it goes perfectly in my hand. This is another sleeker brush that we have, and you can see how small the thin are. Compared to the new one, there's a huge difference, especially the bendy top part is the comparison. Though the price of the old one is $9. I know not all my viewers have Malamute, so I want to test it on a different type of hair. Here we have Shrek. He has grooming tomorrow, so he's looking kind of wild. <laughs> he's a purebred jerky, which means he doesn't have an undercoat. And his hair is very silky. Chris Christensen's 
they sell a small brush for small breeds like Yorkies. But let's be honest, I'm not spending another $70 to have a special brush for Shrek size. With the regular slicker brush that I used to brush Shrek, it takes me around 10 to 15 minutes to do him. So he's so small, it doesn't take me that long, obviously. Apart from the obvious that this brush is way too big for his head size and his overall size, the brush did actually really good brushing him. It was a lot faster than normally and it did really well with all his little tangles that he get in the bag, especially in the back legs he always get a little bit of tangles and by the front armpit he also get sometimes tangles, especially if I have him wearing sweaters for a long period of time. And he did really well brushing him, but again, I'm not buying the smaller one. I'm just gonna have to use this one for the body and for the head, I will use his old brush. And we are all done. All three of our doggies are brushed. Shrek is looking very silky smooth, super pretty, the hair came out, but again, I'm not buying the small size for him. Well, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!